What up guys, this is gonna be a really quick last minute video on consumables I'm gonna be going for uh, and what leveling prep I'm gonna be doing for Shadowlands. Um, and I guess the first thing to note is that the, uh, you know, all the quests that you can do to hand in are not really worth it. I tried a bunch, copied a character over there, you're not getting much experience from them at all compared to, you know, what you get in the more in, in Bastion at the start, so the time that it takes, you know, to come back and do them and then head back there and then get behind the crowd, you know, it's not going to be worth it it's with the potential, you know, of being stuck in, in some lag fest. So I would say your best bet is to try and, you know, get out in front of the pack as fast as possible. So, yeah, keep your character parked in Stormwind, ready to go, get through the portal, you know, and into the more ASAP. Um, and, you know, there's going to be a general route that you're going to follow. It's going to be very linear. And with that in mind, you know, the option is, or your choice, I guess, is whether or not you're doing side quests or whether or not you're, you know, focusing solely on the main campaign. And that really comes down to, like, do you want to level ASAP or do you want to get your campaign done ASAP? Because you need to complete the campaign in order to do Torghast and any sort of Soulbind Conduit stuff. Uh, so if you do want to level and get max level ASAP, then I recommend doing the Bastion side quests, but not the Maldraxxus ones. The XP rate in Maldraxxus is really bad. You want to get out of there ASAP. Ardenweald, however, is generally really good as well. Uh, and you'll most likely ding 60 in Ardenweald. Um, regardless. So, yeah, that's that's kind of my summary in terms of you know questing and the route. Um, you don't get to pick which continent, you know, you're doing first. It is, a, it's, it is a set route. Uh, I guess the next thing I wanted to say is with regards to war mode. So a lot of people were a bit concerned with whether or not war mode is worth it. You can't actually PVP in the more anyway. So it's free there. And once you're beyond the more, you should be past. If you're serious, you know, and you've got your consumables, uh, and decent gear to start with, start with, you should be past like 99% of people once you're coming out of the moor and going into Bastion. Uh, so war mode shouldn't be an issue, especially if you're in a group. Most of the other people that you encounter will most likely be uh, try hard questing anyway. So for me, I'm thinking I'm going to go with war mode. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to run with it the entire way through just to make it go a little bit quicker. Uh, next stop is consumables, and there are a few consumables that stop working at 51, and that is Light Foot Potion, your draw of 10 lands, uh, your Rune, any sort of War Scrolls if you don't have uh, the required class for that buff in your group, and Drums, and these all stop at 51. But it's important to note that the buff stuff actually works once you're 51, uh, but you can't use it. So... Make sure you rebuff all of these right before you ding 51 because you're going to get an extra up to an hour for some of them out of it, which is going to be, you know, at least one level, maybe two, uh, if you're going quick with a group. Uh, which brings me on to my next thing. Grouping, definitely worth it if you've got some friends that want to level quick or want to level with you. Uh, and also up for doing some prep, it's 100% going to be faster for you if you group. Most of your XP is going to come from quests rather than actual killing. So there's almost no penalty for being in a group. So 100% worth it. Uh, and you can also all get these banners, right, which work for your whole group. And you can stagger them. So you always, whenever you do a big pack, big pull, any sort of killing, you have a banner up from someone. That's going to give you good bonus XP as well. You get this from the guild vendor if your guild has done the required achievements. Uh, next thing, I guess, is gear. You want to pick up the mount item that gives you 20% mount speed. Uh, you can just grab this off the auction house. I think it's like one 2k gold pretty cheap uh, And you know you have this option or the anti days option But you can actually spin to avoid days, you know spin while jumping to avoid days uh, and getting hit from behind uh, So this is basically just a passive 20% extra mount speed um, Now your main goal I guess since you can't mount in the more is using gun shoes effectively and any sort of movement speed effectively in the right because you want to get away from the pack anyone that's not using this you're going to bypass uh, and pull away from which is a big deal so yeah gun shoes when you're not in caves light foot when you're in caves you can potentially run nitro boosts on your boots as well this comes from northrend engineering 
and this is usable all the way up to 60 so this is very useful every time you go in a cave but be aware that it does share cooldown with your damage pots so use them wisely don't just macro them wildly to stuff because whenever you're in a cave then you will find that your belt is on cooldown and that is going to save you time getting out of this cave for sure uh since you can't mount there uh you got two move speed gems five percent and three percent definitely worth picking up as well so you sacrifice about 14 haste for that uh two main stat gems gonna increase your damage a bunch uh you got your bear tartar uh is an option for your buff food if you don't want to run any sort of damage food that works all the way up to 60 same for flask definitely worth keeping those up the whole time you know you can buy all this stuff off the auction house gliders there's loads of glider spots that is faster than mounting and again final thing is i guess health pots if you're in trouble just always handy to have uh, and then damage pots if it's a really big pull and you're going to get good value out of it last i guess thing is some gear so any gear with speed on that has decent stats for you probably worth grabbing speed is going to be really important here because you're going to be running around a lot and that's going to probably save you the most time out of anything within reason so i've actually picked up these boots with the minus speed enchant, which only works on items up to 50. And I'm going to be using that in the mod again, just because you can't mount there. And I want to get ahead of the pack ASAP to avoid any sort of potential lag. Uh, I also have this amulet. This doesn't share cooldown with anything else. So you can drop it on during any sort of RP where you're waiting around for uh, quests and you know, stuff like that to complete. And you can just pop this just to run, you know, to the next location if your gun is on cooldown. Or, you know, your light foot's on cooldown, you're in a cave, anything like that, you can get value out of this for sure. Just whack it on, use it, get it off again. Uh, a big trinket is this one. This is from Halls of Valor, from the wolf boss. And it's a fairly low drop rate. It, it took me about 12 runs, but you can just spam it on normal. All the normal heroic and mythic ones are the same stats. Uh, especially if you're in agility class, this is going to give you a lot of value. I'll definitely be using this in the more. I'll see if I use it, you know, any anywhere further on, but... Um, it's 100% going to be valuable in the more, I'd say. Um, in terms of actual gear, again, like I said, anything with speed on is valuable. Um, talents, you want to take things like body and soul. That's going to help you out for sure. Um, or, you know, any other class with move, move speed perks or, or talents or whatever. Definitely go for them. Ah, yes. The last thing I wanted to mention was add-ons. So there are certain add-ons that are going to help you out a lot when it comes to leveling and i guess a major one is any sort of auto turn in quest add-on i'm using litrix plus uh, and this is just going to automate any sort of quest text so you don't have to spend ages clicking on it i wholeheartedly recommend that you can also have uh, an an option to skip gossip which is you know when you have to talk to npcs or whatever uh, and and you know it makes that go a lot quicker as well that's probably my number one add-on i would say for leveling uh other options, I guess, are Q-Bar. Q-Bar is going to give you a option to bind quest items. So there's some quests where you have to use a quest item over and over. You can actually bind like every quest item to a sa the same bind with Q-Bar. It automates it for you. So I recommend that as well. Um, last things uh, to mention, I guess, is Litrix Plus also allows you to instant sell greys uh, and instant repair. So that's going to save you time too. So that was everything I wanted to say. I hope there was some useful tips in there for you. It's all last minute stuff, easy to do. You know, we'll take you maybe five, 10 minutes to get it all sorted and ready. And it's going to save you a lot of time while leveling. Uh, so yeah, I will be 24 hour streaming on Monday night when the expansion comes out. So hopefully see some of you guys there uh, over at Twitch TV slash Hydromist. Uh, if not, hopefully uh, you have a nice lag free launch and uh, enjoy guys.